guess what happened <laughs> um I was at work on Tuesday and I had a bit of a sniffly nose and I'd also been a bit itchy in the morning and um so I was like oh I've got a bit of hay fever and I went to work and I was fine I did my job I did the branch inspection and, you know whatever I was a great day and then I came home and I thought hmm blowing my nose a lot I better just do a rat because I've been around a lot of people like at my daughter's dance concerts and you know like shopping and stuff so I was like mm, I better just do a rat and yeah so that's fun um it finally got me <laughs> Uh, this is the first time I've had coronavirus, so I didn't really know what to expect. And um, it's been a lot of tissues, so I'll give you that. Um, <laughs> but I've also, it's its not been as bad as the flu. The flu was way worse. But, um, like, it's just been mostly, like, a headache and, like, really... A lot of body aches like really I feel really heavy and achy and then this morning I woke up and I was like oh I could film a cozy quarantine day because I obviously I'm staying home I'm not going anywhere like at least the next five days so I was like that's okay I'll film a cozy day and I'm, I'm not feeling that sick I'll, I'll be fine and then I woke up this morning and I have nausea and and uh other fun toilet related symptoms shall we say without being too graphic so um yeah that's been fun so um i i don't i don't know if i'll be able to film today um i might just like chill for a bit <laughs> and start filming a bit later maybe if i can or I might leave it till tomorrow. Uh, ain't life fun. <laughs> oh dear. Bluebell doesn't like it when I'm sick. <laughs> she won't leave me alone. Oh darling, thank you. <laughs> She's like on me. And then Cookie's just here. Nurse Cookie's on the job too. Oh. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, my husband made me a cup of tea, which is nice. Um, and I'm feeling a bit less nauseous now. So hopefully if I get up and have a shower a bit later, I'll <laughs> be feeling a bit better. Um, I'll show you the little nest I've made myself anyway. Um, Obviously, I'm, I'm in my bed at the moment. As you can see, I've got my supplies. <laughs> On the side here, I've got um, paracetamol and tea and I've run out of tissues, so <laughs> you see toilet paper. Um, but I've got my headphones there and obviously I'm using my phone, but my phone only sits here too. And I've got this nice um, Christmassy kind of moisturiser. It's just nice. Um, and some essential oils, which is like really been helping with my headaches. It's just lavender and uh, frankincense and stuff. So I've been just rolling that into my temples, which has been helping my headache. Um, plus, I've also got my dog. Because <laughs> um, she's 
a very good nurse when you're not feeling well she's really good um I've got my laptop there because I've been watching The Crown and um, season five of The Crown and Succession while well, I've been in bed um, and I've been reading um, Christmas fireside stories when I when my headache hasn't been too bad. It's a bit <laughs> not very fun to read when you've got a headache, but um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And um, also ugh, drinking a lot of water. Okay, so I've had a shower and I've come outside for some fresh air. Uh, so you have to excuse the noise of the cars as they go past. They, it's not too bad, but it can be a bit loud. So, okay, so I've made myself some traditional Australian comfort food. If you're an Aussie watching this channel, you know, you know, this is it. Vegemite and toast with butter, or in my case, Nutilex. That is a taste of home. That is comfort food 101 in Australia. So the equivalent is probably um, like dashi in Japan or cornbread in the south of the US or kimchi in Korea, like we grew up on this stuff. So I won't say all, cause that's not true, but most Australians, the vast majority, this is the taste of home and comfort. And it's, it's really good when you're sick cause it has lots of B vitamins and it's savory. So it is good when you're sick and it's kind of neutral. Um, if you're not from Australia and you haven't tried Vegemite and you've seen those YouTube videos where someone tries a teaspoon of Vegemite, dude, of course they're not going to like it. That's not how you eat it. It's like saying, you'll really like a cup of tea. Here, eat this tea bag. Do you like it? Like, that's not how, we don't like it, eating it off a teaspoon. Like, we wouldn't eat it that way. We would hate it that way too. Like, that's not how you eat it. The way you eat it is you make some toast and you spread a good spread of like margarine or butter, whichever is your preference. And then you kind of find your sweet spot <clears throat> with Vegemite spreading. Now, some people, some people are more like, like this. They like it like heavy. My husband likes a lot. I'm not so much like that's probably a bit heavy for me. I'm a more of a light spreader like this. This is kind of perfect for me. So you kind of find your sweet spot with it, but it is like, it's heaven, <laughs> especially when you're not well. It is like just a hug. <laughs> it's hug food. So yeah, I'm eating a little bit of this. Hopefully I can keep it down. I feel a bit less nauseous now. So maybe the shower helped. And I brushed my teeth too because it was like, you know, that funny taste in your mouth when you've just woken up. Uh, so um, I'm feeling a bit better now. So I've just come out for some fresh air. It's pretty cold though today at the moment, but you know, it's Melbourne. So <laughs> that could change in about 10 minutes. But um, I've bought my book outside. So this is, I'm reading this and it's Christmas Fireside Stories by a bunch of authors. And Unfortunately, only like the first half are Christmassy. And now I'm in the second half of the book and they're just short stories, which is fine, but that's not what it says on the tin, right? Christmas is like the first big word and only half the book is Christmas stories, which I find strange. I mean, I'm still enjoying the stories, but like weird. <laughs> Anyway, I'll keep reading it because the short stories are still good. It's just not what I expected, but oh well, there you go. <laughs> Told me. 
25 and um still feeling nauseous and I, I don't want to eat anything so I've just made myself a cup of this like instant vegan dashi broth which is quite nice so I think I'll just sip this for fluids mostly but see how that goes um I finished uh Christmas fireside stories um which weren't all Christmassy <laughs> which was funny, but I finished it, um, it was okay, like, not what I expected, but, no, it was okay, past the time, so, I think, this afternoon, uh, to get back in a bit of a festive mood, um, I'm going to do some colouring and watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which probably is a bit off-brand for me, <laughs> but, but when I watch this movie, it's just so silly and funny and lighthearted and Christmassy that it always puts me in a Christmassy mood. Um, I used to love Chevy Chase. Like, I think I was a bit in love with Chevy Chase when I was a kid. I was an odd kid. Uh, <laughs> so I watched Christmas Vacation and Funny Farm over and over again. I loved those movies so much. So um, I'm going to watch, it's a bit of a tradition for me now to watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation every year. Um, and I'm going to watch that now and do some colouring. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's come out <laughs> I've come up to the backyard to get some fresh air and sunshine um, I watched National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and I also watched um, episode 4 of season 6 of The Crown which is the most recent one so there aren't any episodes available after this so I've got to wait now <laughs> see what happens um I'm gonna hang some washing out <laughs> and um just sit outside for a bit in the garden get some sun and um yeah
Okay, guys, it's, <clears throat> it's later that night. So when I filmed that earlier video of me reading on the veranda, um, <laughs> I was feeling quite nauseous. And um, I didn't realise, but that book that I was reading, the opening scene was on a ship. And um, that made it worse because <laughs> I felt seasick. <laughs> book actually made my nausea worse because I felt seasick reading this first scene on a ship. <laughs> so <laughs> I just stopped filming. I had to go and lay down and I fell asleep um, for a couple of hours. I was so nauseous after reading that book. <laughs> so yeah, that wasn't great. <laughs> But, um, yeah, uh, kudos to Elaine Everest for her realistic descriptions of being on a boat. <laughs> it's, mm, yeah, it, it, I really felt like I was there <laughs> with the characters. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> oh, it's, it's night time now and I'm going to stop filming and I'll give you an update in the morning and tell you if I'm feeling any better. Ah, <laughs> oh, your notebook words. <laughs> Guys, it's the next day and I think the nausea's gone. Actually starting to feel a little bit better. Um, this is day three of my quarantine and I've got to stay in for another two days. So, um, And then <clears throat> I'll test again and as long as... Uh, my test is negative then I'll be able to go back out which will be good um, but hopefully now that I'm feeling better I will edit that video today and get it out for you in time for my regular post tomorrow so um, apologies for the COVID content <laughs> it was meant to be a bit more Christmassy but um, you know life gets in the way sometimes but thanks for spending a lovely day in with me um quarantining um I hope it was cozy as well as a, a bit germy <laughs> um but thanks for being here today bookworms and I hope you do something nice for yourself and take care of yourself especially if you're not feeling well um take it easy because the Christmas season can be notoriously uh, busy and tiring so make sure to have a cozy day in if you need one as well and I will catch you in the next one Mwah.